I'm Stuart McConaughey here at Titans of CNC. I'm here in the Heimer tool crib with the Vio 2150 Linear Microset Presetter. This is an amazing machine that allows you to transform your shop and actually take some of the setup and actually bring it offline. This is really important because it allows the machine to continue running while you're going through touching off tools and presetting your future jobs. The way our Heimer presetter works is we take our tool and we'll place it into this rotating spindle. Our Heimer presetter features two lenses or two cameras that will actually go up over to this spindle center line where it will pick up the height of the tool and or the diameter. So one of the first steps in using the presetter is actually digitizing the tool and putting it into the Heimer database. Go up to new tool and hit edit and this will actually bring up the library of all the tools that you have already input into the machine. Today we're going to put in a new tool which is going to be our three-quarter core five. We have this in a hydroforce holder. We're going to take that tool fill out all the information and input it into the library. We go up to the very top and we'll just click new. For my tool description, I'm gonna be very specific and explain the tool and the tool holder. We have our three quarter, core five, bull mill, a 60 thousandths corner radius in a hydroforce holder. So I've input the description Next, we're gonna move on to the stage. This is how many times it's going to measure or at what height or what stage it's gonna measure at. For the stage column, we're gonna measure one zone and so we're gonna put in a one. Now, for our next tab, we're actually going to put in how many flutes or how many cutting inserts or cutting edges our tool has. Since this is a core five, we have five cutting edges. Now, for our next one, we have our nominal X radius. Since this is a three quarter diameter tool, our nominal radius is going to be 0.375. Our next column is going to be our nominal Z, which is just our average nominal tool length. For this, we're gonna simply take our tool and approximate a measurement from the back of this flange to the tip of our tool. So I have a approximate measurement of 6.18. Next, we have our nominal corner radius. This is a 60 thousandths bull mill, so I will put in 60 thousand. I'm now going to specify what machine I want the tool to be used for. We are going to use this tool for the DVF 5000. Underneath of that, we have our adapter type, which is CAT40. For our tool type, I'm going to go into the drop down and just select mill. All we're doing is taking the tool and making it into a template. Once the template is in the database, anyone who walks up who wants to then find the height or width or the measurement that they want for that tool can simply go into the database, find the tool they want, click it, and then hit measure. But before we get to that, we will go through and actually teach the machine how to get the measurements that we want. We're now gonna go ahead, take our tool, place it into our presetter, and we're gonna finish the description by taking a picture, which we will use as a reference later on when it's in the database. So now all we're gonna do is take a picture, so that way we can use it for a reference. good. So now that we've completed our tool definition, we're now going to teach the machine how to move to find the offsets that we want. First, we're going to go through and tell it that we need to put it in teaching mode. We'll simply go up to this button and select teach in our window. There'll be a red icon, which means we're in teaching mode. At this point, we simply can grab the machine and move the cameras exactly where we would want the machine to automatically go. In this case, I'm going to slowly and carefully move the camera to the rough position of where I think the tool edge is. Once I have it in the rough position, I can use the side joystick over here 
to carefully manipulate the camera window to the exact point I want. Over here on the side, we have how in focus our tool is. To do our measurements, we need the tool to be in 100 or 80% focus. We can manually rotate our spindle until we get it into an approximate point of focus where we have this nice green bar. To make things a little easier, we can get it into a rough position and simply click autofocus. And our machine will go through and automatically rotate our tool until it gets a very good high resolution shadow. In this window, we have it set to figure out the max edge of our tool and the max Z length of our tool. We're also gonna have it go ahead and find the corner radius, which is that approximate 60 value that we put in our tool definition. Next, we can go into our measurement function. This is where we can go through and select what we're trying to measure, whether it's the height, whether it's the radius, whether it's the diameter, whether it's the angle, and this is for any different tool. And that's the cool thing about the Heimer Presetter. For this tool, we're actually just gonna do the height, our corner radius, and the diameter of the tool. Now that I have this set, I'm gonna replicate this five times because I have five cutting edges. To do that, I simply come up to this corner and I click apply because this is the window that I want the machine to find for next time. Once I have this cutting edge, I will simply go over and click this arrow where it will go through and automatically try to finish my process for me but we have some debris on the tool. This is actually very important and a critical step is whenever you're going through and teaching it or even measuring your tool, you have to clean it properly. We use Play-Doh or putty, sticky putty, and we'll go through and use it to actually pick up any debris that's on the tool so that way it doesn't interfere with the camera. We now have a very clean profile I'm now going to apply this window and move on to the next cutting edge. We're basically going to repeat this process for every cutting edge where we apply and then move on. So now I'm gonna take it off of teach mode, make sure that all my parameters are set exactly how I want them and click save. So now I'm gonna show you what the measuring process looks like. Since we have our tool already in place, I'm simply gonna go up to single tool, click measure, and we'll get to watch the machine do the work for us. Our machine is moving to its first cutting edge, going into autofocus and finding the exact focus point of that surface so that way we can get our measurement. It's then gonna replicate that on each cutting edge. This gives you a much more accurate tool offset because we can go through and see our minimum values and our maximum values to get the perfect edge and our perfect height. Now that it's all done, we can go through and take our data and actually make it into a G-code file for our machine to use. We've gone through and taught our presetter how to move to find the exact measurements that we want, which is very powerful when you combine it with the automation of our next thing, which is the toolkit. A toolkit is just a collection of different tools that have different measurements in an automated process. To go through and automatically find each offset in our toolkit, we simply grab the list that we want and hit measure. I've already gone ahead and made a toolkit that will go through and automatically grab all of these tools. This is the automated process. This is the important part because we can automatically go through the measuring cycles that we have designed for each tool. Once we've gone through and gotten all our measurements for all our tools, we can then print out a label, make a code, or even send it directly to the CNC. 
we've gone through and automatically collected all of the offsets for these tools. So that way I don't have to transcribe all of this data. So just like that, we've loaded all of our tools into our Doosan DVF 5000. We're gonna finish our process and put in all of our tool offsets with this G-code that we created over at the Heimer Presetter. All we have to do is run our program and we will have all of our tool heights already put into our CNC and we'll be ready to run. So if you like this video, make sure and like and subscribe to see all of our new CNC content that we have coming up.